Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and today I am going to make Frito pie. So I need to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. And I have about a half a pound of ground beef here that I already cooked up. I am only doing half of the recipe. So we're gonna get this mixed in with some uh, mild taco seasoning. And I want, I don't know, probably a tablespoon of this. Maybe a little more. And then I need a half a cup of chili sauce. And I need a half a cup of salsa. And I just have the great value here. And then I'm going to add a little more than half of this can of corn. That should be good. And I'll freeze the rest of that. And I'm not going to shred cheddar or mozzarella cheese because I have this sliced provolone that I need to use. I'm going to see how much of this I can get used up tonight. You know what they say, waste not, want not. gonna real thinly slice this. There, looks like shredded cheese. Okay, we'll let that warm up yet while the oven's still preheating. Okay, you guys, our meat mixture is hot. Oven is almost ready. So I'm going to pour this in my pan. I believe it's about a 7 by 11. And now I'm going 
to put some Fritos on here. And all my store had was the scoops, so I'm going to give them a little crush. Sprinkle this cheese on here. This is going to go in the 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes. So I will bring you back when we plate up. Okay, friends, our dinner is ready. Oh, it smells delicious. And this is a new to us recipe. So when we get done eating, I will come back and let you know what we thought of it. And there you have it, the Frito pie. It's what's for dinner tonight. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, friend, I'm happy to report back to you that this Frito pie was really good. So if I can find the link for it again, I will have that for you in the description box below. Otherwise, I'll type it out for you. It's a good one. We'll keep it and make it again. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good afternoon, friends. Happy Wednesday. Tonight I am going to make creamy sausage rotel pasta. In this pan, I am going to bring a pot of water to a boil for the pasta. And here I am going to make the sauce. I have about a half a pound of cooked sausage here that I took out of the freezer this morning. I like having my meat like this made up ahead of time just to save a step after working all day. And now I am going to add one tablespoon of butter and for my husband and I I am just making half of the recipe but I will have the original link for you below in the description box And then I have about a half a can's worth of Rotel tomato here. It's going to have to be enough because that's I'm not opening another can for a little bit. And I need some minced garlic. about getting this used up. Okay. I'm going to need four ounces of cream cheese. I'm going to cube it up. I'm going to have to weigh out four ounces of pasta. It says spaghetti, but I'm just going to do, I think I have mini shells up here I'm going to use. Yes, I do. Oh, 
Okay, there's my four ounces of pasta. Now I'm going to add in the Rotel, which is about five ounces. going to put in the four ounces of cream cheese that I just cubed up. And then I need two tablespoons of sour cream. And then I'm going to need a quarter cup of heavy cream. I'm going to wait a minute on that, though. I need onion powder. going to add maybe an eighth of a teaspoon and some dried parsley okay then salt and pepper to taste I need my heavy cream in here yet. And I think I'm going to go to my freezer here and get a tablespoon of tomato paste. Because this isn't looking tomato-y enough. So when I open a can of tomato paste and I don't use it all, I will wrap in one tablespoon amounts. I'll wrap it in wax paper and put it in the freezer. So then when I need a tablespoon, it's right there in the freezer. And now I'm just going to cook this pasta for eight, nine minutes. And then I will bring you back when everything is done. All right, you guys, our pasta is cooked to al dente. So now I'm going to drain it. And dump it in here. Get all this stirred together and then we can dish up. I think we have some grapes in the refrigerator that need to get eaten. So we'll see if we can't polish them off tonight. Boy, this smells really good. Yeah, the 
got a few grapes here to eat up. Okay, this is a new to us recipe. So after I'm done eating, I'll come back and let you know what we thought of it. Creamy, cheesy Rotel pasta. That's what's for dinner tonight. I'll be back in a few. Okay, friends, I'm here to tell you that our dinner was really good. We enjoyed it. It's another keeper. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good afternoon, friends. Happy Thursday. Tonight, we are having leftover pasta from the other night. And I boil this up some corn. We got a nice, easy supper tonight. I like having leftovers once in a while. So there it is. Ear of corn, leftover spaghetti. It's what's for dinner tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.